Chinese President Hu Jintao and Premier Wen Jiabao will officially step down in March. They've been in power for a decade, and their legacy has been left open to interpretation. Economic growth pushed China to be the world's number two economy. But that's come at the expense of rampant corruption, environmental damage, and growing social tension. For every percentage of growth, we may have to pay 10 percent of the cost or even more to make it right in the future. For example, we may have to spend 10 times or much more in the future to reverse environmental degradation caused by destructive development. And we will have to pay heavy prices for corruption, deepening disparity between the rich and poor, and widespread demoralization caused by the antagonism and hatred between ordinary people and the privileged. China's human rights and rule of law saw a turn for the worse over the past decade. When Hu Jintao inherited power from his predecessor Jiang Zemin, he inherited a persecution campaign against an estimated 70 to 100 million people. The brutal crackdown of the Falun Gong spiritual practice continued under Hu and Wen. Claims that detained adherents were being killed for their organs also surfaced during their term. In one of his final public speeches in 2012, Wen Jiabao appeared regretful over some of what happened over the past decade. I bear responsibility for the problems that have arisen in the economy and society during my term. During the upcoming congressional meeting set to begin on March 5th, Hu Jintao will hand over the presidency role to newly anointed Communist Party chief Xi Jinping. Wen's successor has not been made public, but is widely expected to be current vice premier Li Keqiang.